See, in the sensitive radical situation in South Africa is one of the time, is one that time and time again I see when I visit the country. He's very heart, he is very heartbeat and presence and in, in, in intelligible color of the rainbow nation and to listen to learn from this man would be an opportunity to cherish. What is the place in the world you would like to travel to and why? I would like to travel to India. I think India is making steps and progress as a developing nation and new global superpower over the next 10 years. I find this remarkable and there's plenty of interesting parallels to Africa in terms of culture and economic development. It is both a diversified country and one with wealth of ethnicities and I'm enchanted by the kindred spirits of my Kenyan Indian brothers and fellow Indians that I've met. I would seek to engage in initiators and to view their initiatives and experience approaches to innovation at the bottom of the pyramid similar to much of what I've already witnessed in Africa. Smart to want to look at India. Give us a plan if you've selected to go to San Marta, da, 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 rub hands together with glue. I will organize and deliver a keynote talk to the iHub community in Nairobi. Nairobi is innovative hub and one of Africa's leading technology open spaces, www. Da, da, da. Though through this, I'll directly plug back the expertise of Sandbox community into where it fits best with the young and energetic minds of iHub. I will also publish my sketch notes online, da, 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 and within the hubs, I have system for them to guide and to inform the community with my key takeouts at the Global Summit. And I'll chronicle my entire journey there and back, tweet as I go, explore, learn, interact. Okay, this is your guide. What? And last but not least, free hugs for anybody, for everybody, and trust me, I'll give some great hugs. <laughs> This is the guy. So who is the guy? I mean, Mark I, I, Wambugu Kwagwa. He's the only one who took it and talked about how he would practica practically link it to his life. Okay, I, I, you know, because I wanted uh, Kara to make the decision of like who's going to go. So my, Kara, were you selected to? Mark, I, I forgive me if I'm not pronouncing his name correctly. Mark Wambugu Kaigwa. Kegwa. I'm not yeah. sure how you and that. we got like about how many how many applicants? Four. We, we all got? four, all great ones. But he really links it. He's like, he links the whole experience to his life. And and since like, uh, in you you uh, and you make you uh, cry. And you make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that, that's usually comes easy, but but can you can you um, um you know uh, since you um since I gave you this uh, resume, is it, I didn't talk to you about any of them, so you didn't know who Sandbox selected. Oh, I didn't know they get to select. I thought you said I get to select. Uh, no, I know, but I wanted like I wanted you to select because I they actually told me who they like oh, who they or like? they were interested in. Oh, who were they like? Um, a Mark. Oh, Mark too. Yeah. Oh, perfect. so you, yeah. yeah. So I, I just didn't want to. I mean, I liked all of them for different reasons. I really liked this guy, other guy Cyrus a lot, but he just didn't connect it. Yeah, maybe Cy maybe Cyrus can come and stay with us like for for a month in Providence and yeah. and make some nice mask in our garden. I know. Okay. Awesome. Right. Wish I was going. I'm expecting some Portuguese pottery. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye to Sandbox. Bye.